Hello friends, welcome to our channel Castor Classes and in this particular video we are going to discuss one practice problem based on the concept of dictionary whatever we have discussed in my previous video. Okay, So I have shown you that dictionary can be used to store the frequency of distinct elements present in a particular list. That concept we can use to solve this particular question taken from lead code problem number 884 and the problem uh, title is uncommon words from two sentences okay so what the question says we are given two sentences a and b what is a sentence obviously we know a sentence is a string of space separated words each word consists only of lowercase letters okay a word is uncommon if it appears exactly once in one of the sentences and does not appear in the other sentence okay return a list of all the uncommon words you may return a list in any order. Order is not, uh, need not to be maintained, okay? Like for example, one, suppose my two sentences are, this apple is sweet, this apple is sour. Here you can see, sweet here is appearing only once in the sentence A and not appearing in sentence B. So in our output, sweet should be present, okay? If you consider the second sentence, this apple is sour, here the word sour is appearing only once, which is not appearing in sentence, first sentence, which is sentence A. So sour also should be given the output. So output should be sweet and sour. And the order is need not to be maintained. You can give output as sour and sweet also. For example, two, suppose my first sentence is apple, apple, and second sentence is banana. Now apple, although appearing in appearing in sentence 1, not appearing in sentence 2, but apple should not be given in the output because apple is appearing two times in sentence 1 and we have to return only those sentences, uh, those are basically uncommon, which are basically exactly appearing only once in one sentence, okay. So as apple is appearing twice in this first sentence, so we cannot give the, that as output, we only have to return banana because banana is appearing only in the second sentence and only appearing once. Okay, so our output is banana. Note, 0 less than equal to a dot length less than equal to 200, 0 less than equal to b dot length less than equal to 200. And one more condition is given. A and B both contain only spaces and lowercase letters. That means our sentence are space separated sentence. So what we can do, what algorithm we can implement for solving this particular problem? First of all, we will split the two sentences which are basically strings and we will split according to space and we will be forming two list having only words of the sentences. We will be storing distinct words and their frequencies in two separate dictionaries and we will be taking only those uh, keys from the dictionaries uh, which are having value only one. Okay. And that will be basically our output. Okay. So basically here we are going to use the concept of uh, using dictionary to store the frequency and distinct elements of a particular list. Okay. Which I have already discussed in my previous video. So first of all, we will be forming two separate dictionary for our two sentences, dict1 and dict2. We will be forming two lists using the words of these sentences. So we will split the string using spaces because space are delimited for our string, right? So a dot split with space a f equal to b which is our second string dot split, okay? Then we will store the frequency of each distinct word of the first list e in the dict one. So for i in e if i in dict1 then we will increase the count dict1 of i plus equal to 1 that means dict1 of i equal to dict1 of i plus 1 else dict1 of i equal to 1 we will be inserting new key value pair where key is the uh, i i where key is i and value is 1 okay same thing we will repeat for our second string but here it will be if here it will be dig2 okay because dig2 is storing all the frequencies of our second string okay now 
what we can do we will make one output list where our output will be stored on common words we will traverse in our first dictionary for i in dict1 we will check whether the frequency of that particular element is one or not so dict1 of i value is equal to equal to one or not and i not in dict2 that particular element should not present in dict2 right then only it will be uncommon what we will do in that case output dot append i we will put that element in our output same thing we will perform using traversing in our second dictionary okay so for i in dict2 if dict2 of i in equal to equal to 1 and i not in dict1 then output dot append i okay and last we will return our output let us check whether the code is working for this given test case or not then we will check for hidden test case see status is accepted this apple is sweet this apple is sour output should be sweet and sour expected also sweet and sour now let us submit the code and check whether it is accepting all the hidden test cases or not okay so see the status is success run time is 24 millisecond faster than 91.08% of python 3 online submission so our code is highly efficient if you consider time complexity but not that much efficient if you consider space complexity okay we can optimize the code with respect to space but in most of the interview placement process uh, the time complexity is a major factor so if your code is working fine with respect to time complexity that is it is taking lesser time to execute the particular code that, then that is well and good okay so this is how we can use dictionary for solving competitive programming okay this i have just shown one example you can find thousands of example in lit code or in gigs for gigs or in hacker rank or in hacker art you can practice from there this is all for my this video same code i will be posting in the comment section or in the description box if you want you can check there and don't forget to check my previous video where i have explained how you can use dictionary to store the distinct element and corresponding frequency uh, from a particular list okay if you find this video helpful please like share and comment subscribe our channel if you have not subscribed till now and don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of our latest videos thank you for watching